Uh, hello everyone, like uh, Sawadee so Kop. Like, uh, I'm really happy to have this chance to share with you uh, this topic, like how I make a living with writing NFT on WordPress. Actually, um, when I submitted this topic like, to the organizers, I was not so confident that it, was, it will be taken because NFT has such a bad name. Like, you know, uh, I, I know, I know that. Um, but I, I'm happy to admit it, and I'm happy that you're here to uh, uh, share with us like, my, my journey on making a living with writing NFTs. So um, to start with, I would like to have a very brief self-introduction just to provide a context of like, who I am so that uh, it fits better in like what I'm going to talk about. Like, so right now I'm a full-time writer and uh, previously in the previous 15 years, I've published four books. Uh, the latest one called uh, Moneyverse, How Money Works in the, in the Multiverse. So uh, which is not a paper book, but an NFT book, uh, which I published three months ago. So you, you buy the book by buying the NFT. Like owning the NFT means you have the a uh, true copy, the authentic copy of the book. Although the book itself is uh, licensed in Creative Commons, I mean the words itself is licensed in Creative Commons, which means everyone can get that uh, for free. But if you want to support the course, if you want to support me, if you, if you think the book itself is good, you can buy the NFT. Um, and then three years ago, I also published another book, which is in a more traditional way, uh, a paper book called uh, The Sociology of Blockchain. Uh, we are imagining money, media, and uh, democracy. Uh, I, I translated the titles, but it's a Chinese book, just to be clear. So, um, and other than that, I also uh, blog every week, and, and that's why I'm here, of course. And uh, this is my site, which is actually just very typical WordPress site. I don't even use like fancy themes. I just use the most standard one, which is uh, 2023 right now. I, I just stick with the, the standard ones. And I don't even use too many uh, plugins. So I just block uh, every week, uh, the latest post being a few days ago about this event. Like, so this is my block. And um, so this is me. Let's get into uh, my sharing. So I, I know like NFT has a bad name. Uh, like some of you may hate NFT. Actually, if you hate NFT, maybe you, you won't be here. Uh, maybe you will be outside. Or if you hate NFT and you're here, maybe you are trying to do this to me. Hopefully a lot. So even God hates NFT. But uh, I'm not here to judge. Like, uh, to be honest, I hate some NFT projects as well. Uh, but I mean, NFT itself is a uh, neutral technology. Like even WordPress itself can be used to host like really bad like websites and very good websites. So uh, let's not like influenced by uh, what some NFT projects uh, did in the past uh, and focus on like how we make good use of it of, of the technology. So. Um, to be clear, I'm not I'm not here to tell you like how to make how to get rich by selling like or trading uh, NFTs. Like uh, actually, he he doesn't really get rich by selling NFT. But anyway, but instead, I'm trying to share how I turned my words, how I turned my blog posts into like mango sticky wise, like to feed myself. Um. So to, to start with, I'd like to introduce the concept of Web3, which I'm sure uh, uh, many of you had heard of, but uh, I still want to talk a little bit about it. So um, before what it is, uh, let's talk about what it isn't. Uh, it's not like a, a new version of the web, uh, not, not like a new version of a certain software, not like iOS, like 14, and then you have 15, not, not like that. It's not all, uh, also, it's not the upgrade of a certain particular protocol, like new version of HTTP is not. It's more like a paradigm shift. It's more like how we understand the web as a whole. Like, um, 
say start with a uh, so-called Web One. So that was about 1990s when I was in the university, uh, get on the web for the first time with uh, Mosaic Bowser. So uh, at that time, we usually uh, compare the web to uh, newspaper magazines. So things are static. You browse the web mainly means you're reading, consuming contents. That's what we understand as uh, web one. And then uh, about 10 years later, uh, that's when WordPress started, uh, 20, uh, actually 2003, uh, also when uh, Facebook started, about, about that time. And there are, the site, uh, I mean, uh, internet started to, a lot of sites start to emerge where you can produce so-called user-generated generated contents which means like you don't only read, but you also write, you, you produce content. Like most of the contents, uh, most of the websites and uh, apps that we use today are based on web tool because you have certain amount of like inputs. Like you take photos, you, you blog, you uh, send messages, you send email, uh, everything. So from TikTok to Facebook to like every popular program, uh, uh, basically a web two. So web three, uh, we add an important element which didn't exist on web two, which is ownership. So now we have read, write, and ownership. And the reason that we have ownership added to uh, internet, uh, of course, is because of uh, the emerge of blockchain technology, which uh, today we will not go deep into. But I, I just want to stress that uh, the way I understand Web3, it's, uh, it's, with, it's Web2 plus ownership added to the uh, internet. If you are into uh, the blockchain, probably you would have heard of this uh, particular uh, uh, service called Mirror. So you sometimes with uh, it's, it's actually quite often that you read about uh, like white papers or articles talking about the blockchain itself. It would be hosted on this uh, mirror.xyz website, which called themselves the home for web-free publishing. So I myself also had some articles. I actually, uh, most of the time I write in Chinese, but I have a, a a few uh, English articles, so I have them published on the mirror as well. But um, this is WordCamp, uh, so of course I'm not going to talk about like how mirror works because it has nothing to do with WordPress. I'm what I'm going to share is instead uh, how do we do the same thing uh, on our own website, on our own domain name, and so and with WordPress. So we call that uh, writing NFT, the same name as the uh, mirror surface. So to start with, uh, you need a tool, of course, uh, on, on website, which is, uh, you, you can just search for Web3 on WordPress and you'll get like a, a bunch of um, plugins, not, not that many uh, as of today. So probably the fourth one would be the one that uh, I'm going to introduce, which is called uh, Web Free Press. Uh, of course, you can also just search Web Free Press directly, and you should it should be in the first um, result. So they say it's uh, fly me to WordPress uh, Web Free, and then uh, you'll need another tool, which is a wallet software installed, uh, wallet extension installed on your uh, Chrome browser. You can also use another um, variant of Chrome called Brave, which is more for the, uh, for the blockchain users. Some uh, relatively hardcore blockchain users would prefer another browser, uh, uh, users would, would prefer another browser called Brave, which, is, which has the same uh, core as Chrome. So I, I assume you use Chrome and you just install this Krabler uh, extension, and then uh, this is actually the most like uh, probably biggest entry barrier for 
uh, new uses, not just entry barrier for new users of this particular, particular writing NFT, but the entry barrier for like everything blockchain. You need an identity. So uh, this is really a really, really bad example that I'm, I'm setting because you should never show your uh, sick face to others. Because if you do, uh, others will, will be just able to take your money. So this, is, this wallet is empty, of course. And uh, you have to write it down and create an identity for yourself. So, and uh, the next step is to get some uh, so-called like coin uh, from the faucet. So um, this is getting probably a little bit hard to understand. But uh, think about it, it's not that hot because say I, I just came to uh, Bangkok like uh, the day before yesterday. I'm, I'm from Hong Kong, you know. Uh, so when I come to Thailand, you, you spend a uh, buck, uh, the, the local currency. So I have to convert some of my money into buck so as to like live a life. So this is actually the same idea to to use anything in the blockchain, I need a new currency, uh, a new currency different from a US dollar. And for, for this particular example, it's called uh, Litecoin, L-I-K-E, Like. But uh, to convert in, um, in an exchange, like crypto exchange is more uh, troublesome, or I'm, I'm not here to encourage you to like buy any crypto. So there's a service called a uh, faucet, which is literally a faucet, which will drop you some money, not a lot, but uh, more than enough for you to like create some basic NFT to start with, so that you know what's happening before you really decide uh, whether you are going to uh, um, engage deeper in, in the community. So you go to faucet.lite.co and you'll be guided to, to Discord to uh, prove your identity and get a little bit amount of the coin. After that, uh, you are ready to publish your first NFT. So I, I just did an example last night uh, with an old article that I write about. Uh, so after I published the post, uh, I opened the uh, session of the uh, plugin and then I can do publish. But this publish is different from like the, the, uh, the publish in, in WordPress. Uh, we, we all know the publish in WordPress means I'm writing the article, I'm writing the, the blog post to my own database, uh, like uh, my, my SQL. While this publish is decentralized publishing, which means you are storing the content on the decentralized uh, publishing infrastructure of Web3, so AKA uh, IPFS, uh, if you have heard of that. I'm, I'm not going to uh, go deep into that, but you are basically storing your uh, content in an immi uh, immutable way. So even if, just in case my site uh, go down or uh, go, go away completely, the web code, uh, the content will still be hosted on, like, in a distributed way uh, on many servers. So you, you do this, publish it on the blockchain, and get what is called an ISCN. Uh, I'm sure you have heard of, I'm pretty sure you haven't heard of ISCN, but I'm sure you have heard of ISBN which is International Standard Book Number. So this is something very similar. So it's International Standard Content Number, which means, uh, which, is, which is like an, a blockchain version of ISBN. So you have your, your article. It can also be applied to images. Uh, you get a, a unique number for your blog post and have, it, have the metadata written to the blockchain. It's very really like uh, if you are like old guy like me, when when you went to the library like twenty years ago, before the libraries are even computerized, you search for books like like this way. Each card represents a a book, 
So uh, you have the metadata of the book, including the name of the book, the author of the book, the publisher, uh, and etc. and etc. Including one very important uh, information, which is where to find the book, which book self to find the book. So ISB, ISCN is something very similar to this. You have a unique number for your article, and people know where to find the article. It's different from URL. Uh, I mean, it's a supp supp supplementary information uh, to URL. And then with that, you can uh, proceed with minting your NFT, so-called minting, which is like publishing your article as NFT. So you can do some setting, uh, customize customization of the NFT, uh, like what uh, cover photo to use, and then the OG title, OG uh, introduction, and etc. And then you'll get it, you'll have the NFT created in a few like uh, seconds. So this is the a, a real example that I did last night. And then uh, with that, you'll have the Writing NFT, I mean the record installed uh, right below the article. So after people read your article or uh, read your blog post, and if they like it, they can just uh, collect the NFT to, to own your article, to show the appreciation, and have the article uh, shown in, in their web free bookshelf. And your Writing NFT will also appear on uh, another website, which is called uh, Likeland. So you have, a, let's say, it's a marketplace for your, uh, for your articles. So this is my uh, profile page. You can see I, I just published this article on uh, WordCamp and WordPress like a few days ago. And then I just did that last night as a demonstration for this uh, sharing. Uh, after that, I started to get uh, revenue because some readers are starting to collect my article as NFT. So I get like uh, that article that I posted on Wednesday, get a better income, like a uh, thousand twenty four like, and then these few get a uh, 64 like. So uh, you may wonder, like, what's the point of getting like L-I-K-E? So I get off a lot of likes uh, on, on Facebook, but it is never, like, I can never use my like to, to get my mango sticky rice. But this like in capital is a little bit different, but a little bit, but significantly different from uh, likes on Facebook. So it's a crypto token that can be converted into um, other currencies, including, uh, I'm sure you have heard of uh, Bitcoin. But here I use an example, which is probably uh, more uh, easier to understand, which is uh, USDC, a stable coin uh, that's packed to uh, USD. So uh, this is the latest, at least this is the, the, the price for last night. So uh, 100, Litecoin will convert to like 0.22 USDC. So uh, this is how it work. And the next step, I mean, if I'm going to spend it, the next step would be, uh, there are some uh, crypto debit cards. It, it just work like a Visa that uh, you can use. And in the back end, they will spend a cryptocurrency like USDC instead of like charging your uh, bank. So this is exactly what I did last like. I, I just uh, I just brought some biscuits in a uh, family market nearby with this card and the card uh, spent the USDC which came from uh, Litecoin. So this is the whole flow of it. And so now uh, I just went through the whole process, like what, what, how I did it. So I, I broke every week, February 1st, and then one week, and then one week. I, I broke every week. And then uh, people buy my articles as uh, NFT, and then I, I use the, uh, the, the uh, 
cryptocurrency that I earned and turn it into USDC and spend it with a debit card, a Visa card. And the, and the restaurant actually uh, don't, uh, doesn't have to understand or doesn't have to heard about um, uh, Bitcoin at all or cryptocurrency at all because what they are getting is just like a, a typical Visa card, although in the back uh, is charged in cryptocurrency. So the whole flow is works this way. So uh, this is a real example as well. This is how uh, the money, uh, amount of money that I made in, in two months. So not a lot, but uh, enough for me to buy some, like buy my rice. Mm. And the good thing is I, I didn't compromise anything because I don't have to set up a paywall uh, for my content. I don't have to like uh, put advertisement on my blog. So, um, other than spending the, uh, converting the money into US dollar and spend it, you can of course also use the same coin to, to support other creators and this is what I did. So I, other than others, uh, readers buying my NFTs, I'm also a reader for other writers, right? So I also buy the NFT for them. And uh, so this is almost the end of my sharing. Uh, I'll just did. Uh, I'll, I'll just do a simple recap. So you need two tools to start with. The one is uh, plugin for WordPress called Web Free Press, and the other is Kepler, uh, which is a browse extension on Chrome. And then you may have to go to these two websites. It's not mandatory, but if you are to like maybe convert your token, if you are to uh, to to buy others NFT or to have a whole will have a full will of what you uh, what you publish, you can go to this website. If you are to do money conversion exchange, you can go to Osmosis. And this is basically the end of my presentation, which is actually uh, also available on my blog. You can go to my blog uh, with uh, WC Asia 2023. I didn't mean it as an NFT, so, but if you want, I, I can. And then, I mean, if you really want to buy, I can do it. Uh, but I just did it and I didn't mean it. So it's available here and I'm um, open. Happy to take questions if there's any. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you very much. Big round of applause for Kinko. We have a